A Pasco County mother is desperate for answers and needs your help after losing her young son to gun violence on Valentine's Day. News Channel 8's Corey Davis joins us now. He is in Port Ritchie with more on this sad story. Corey. Stacy, good evening to you. The mother of that 14 year old victim isn't backing down tonight on her fight for justice for Christian. Numbness, like surreal, anger. Tanya Robinson is hurting. Her son Christian is gone. She won't see his smile anymore, won't be able to talk with him. She's now planning his funeral. His brothers aren't taking it well at all. They're angry. And his sister, just our whole family. Someone who looks like this person is suspected of shooting Christian in a drive by shooting on Valentine's Day. The 14 year old fought for his life for the next three days before passing away. He would give me a kiss, good night every night. If I was sleeping, I would feel him. It's very protective over me. In his honor, friends placed this memorial outside his home. They're doing all they can to help find answers during a time that still doesn't feel real. I feel like I'm walking in a fog or something. Like, I just can't maybe accept it yet. Finding the shooter won't take away her pain, but it's a start. I don't know if I'll get closure from it, but it would just mean so much. This person needs to be caught. Christian was a boy. He was a child. In back life here, I want to show you this picture, a powerful show of support by Christian's classmates and teachers here at Chasco Middle School, all of them wearing red, his favorite color. If you're able to, if you want to donate to help his family with funeral expenses, you can go to a link in this article on WFLA.com. Stacy, back All to right. you. Corey Davis live for us tonight. Thank you. Today, firefighters.